Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure video. Morning folks. I had a good uh, sleep in the tarp last night. It was raining all night. Didn't leak. Um, I'm getting up early because I want to do some droning. Yeah, as you can see, I've just put the um, sleeping bag away. I'm just going to take the tarp down now. That's where I was camping folks. No trace left. I picked everything up. All's good, so I'm ready to go. There's a worm <laughs> right where I was camping. He must have uh, shared some shelter with me. Okay guys, these pictures are from the inside the Tyndale Monument when it was open back from when I did the Cotswold Way back in 2012. Jesus loves you. It says there. And it says here the monument is closed at the moment. So this I'm walking along now is actually remains of um, a fort. I'm not sure how old it is, but I believe it to be, um, it's an ancient one. Uh, you can just about make out the um, ramparts. Uh, it's all overgrown. I'm not going to bother going and have a look. I've seen it before. It's just a standard fort really. Um, it's a big fort, I have to say. Now that is a bit of bushcraft. Check that out. Put a um, sleep in there, couldn't you? Put them out and sleep in there. Not got much drone power left. It's a shame, this would have been some good drone footage here. I have to save the last little bit of drone power, I think. I forgot about this. I believe this is um, these trees were planted for a memorial to the Crimean War. Um, if I remember rightly, there should be a plaque on here. 
I've always had this place in the back of my mind. I, for some reason, I thought it was on the Offers Dyke path, but it must be, obviously, it's on the Cotswold Way. Always remember this. Obviously, it's got a nice view from it. Look at that mist. We have made some nice drain footage that. I hope it's coming out well on the GoPro there. Oh, look at that. I need to change the batteries in my camera, I think. I know, folks, you can't camp in there. It's locked. And it is a memorial, so. One on the edge, Town Trust. These trees were planted here in 1815 to commemorate the victory at Waterloo. Sorry, I got it wrong. So if you want to read that, I uh, yeah, pause it. I love the view from here. It's weird how I thought it was for the Crimean War. Maybe there is one in uh, Offers Dyke for that. Similar. Oh, I thought there was someone sitting in the seat there. It's my backpack. <laughs> Funny. And that is wooden on the edge, I believe, down there. Which is the last big town by the last place I can refuel on food until Bath I think. Okay guys it's rubbish time again. I think the plastic bag. Yep that's all of it. Okay folks Okay folks, I'm in Wotton on the Edge, um, there's a co-op here, so I've got to get two days worth of water and food. So the plan is to get two litres of water. Um, I've already got two litres of water, about a litre of ginger beer. So another two litres of water and that should last me two days and I'm not sure how much food to get. I've not bought a stove with me, so I'm just buying ready-made food. Then bring a stove just to save weight. Hey. There's the co-op, that's where, that's where I'm going now, to restock. Well, they were really lovely in that uh, co-op store, very friendly. Uh, I'm not sure I've got enough um, food, but I've definitely got enough water for two days all the way to Bath. Pub of the year. <laughs> well, apparently the Cotswold Way goes down here, but um, according to my map, it goes down a bit further, but maybe they've changed the route slightly. Sometimes they do that. Plenty of uh, takeaways in um, Wooten on the edge. Oh, could do with some, uh, could do with a chicken vindaloo at the moment, actually. Welcome to Wooten on the edge. <laughs> Don't know what this is. Could be a war memorial or something. Looks like it is. As you know, I normally charge up my gear in churches or libraries. My libraries are closed, apart from collect book collection, but you can't stay in there to charge your stuff up at the moment. And I'm not too sure about churches. I think this one is closed. Some of them, I think, may be open. 
but I still haven't charged my batteries and I need to charge my drying batteries badly and some more rubbish to bin oh, it's nice along here guys coming out of Wooten in the edge walking along this path here just before I go up another hill I'm guessing this path must flood a hell of a lot it have rain all last night however and I can report that the tarp hold up well my sleeping bag did not get wet I didn't bother using the bivy bag either um, in fact I kind of liked it more than a tent because in a tent the tent on the inside of the tent tends to get damp as you all everyone knows all tents suffer from condensation it's a fact you can't there's nothing you can do about it um, but the tarp was fine the it, it wasn't damp on the um, underside I was sleeping so yeah very happy with the top well folks it looks like the silkworm has got to that uh, tarpaul in there over that house potatoes for sale potatoes sold out that quarry is long barrow now folks if you want to read that do please pause it okay folks no droning of this unfortunately because my drone batteries are all time low and i don't want to damage the batteries so i'm just going to do some gopro footage of it it's pretty overgrown anyway um i think it's just the mound left now there was um a hinge going around it as well yo <clears throat> Don't worry. Okay, looks like I'm gonna. Oh, he's getting up. No, I'll go on the. Ah, I would have got up. It's okay. Can I get past? Thank you. Only just got up the hill, and to, so it seems to be going down the hill. Or maybe I'm not going all the way down. Yeah, I think I'm turning here. This is a pretty amazing um, driver's track on the uh, Cotswold. <coughs> sorry, on the Cotswold round. Which is also part of the um this part is also part of the Cotswold Way. So if you do the Cotswold Way, you'll be either coming down here or up here. Beautiful it is. <laughs> Look how deep this track is. People will say, um well some people will say that it's it's like this because of thousands of years of people walking along here has made this indentation. But I'm not really convinced about that because I mean look how how deep this is it, it would people have had to walk along here constantly for a very long time hmm I think there's more to them well folks there's actually a waterfall on the Cotswold way or Cotswold round as well this church has um actually has a defibrillator Never seen one of these at a church before. Beautiful. Wow, this is old. And 
just another driver's track. Some good ones around here. All those roots at the side. Well folks, we're coming up to a, another monument. I can't remember what this one's for. This one I think normally you have to pay to go up. Uh, but the last monument I was at is normally free but it's closed because whatever, you know. Um, anyway, yeah, I think this one's a, a fee to go up it. I doubt it's open at the moment though. I won't be getting any uh, drone footage of this one because it's uh, right next to someone's house and um, my battery's pretty much, I've got enough just for one more thing to drone because um, all the churches are closed pretty much and the libraries, well you can't use the internet services in the libraries at the moment or um, charge your stuff up so other than that, uh, train stations are good, but I haven't been past any train stations yet. Uh, the next one will be at the end, uh, with the end of the Cotswold Way bit um, in Bath. I don't know if this one has anything to do with the Battle of Waterloo, but I will find out. It might be on a sign down here. Uh, this one could be obviously privately owned. That's why, if I remember rightly, you have to pay a fee. Soon find out anyway. Well, well, folks, this is in someone's back garden. It's a hell of a uh, garden ornament to have in your garden, isn't it? Okay, I was wrong, folks. It's uh, the Somerset Monument, erected in 1846 in the memory of General Lord Robert Somerset. We are from North Chippewa Reserves. It's time to all the uh, plants are starting to grow a lot as it's really sort of humid, and there was a lot of rain last night. So it's could easily get out of control. Some really old trees along here. Um, I don't actually. I don't. I should. I should know by now about trees. But um, I don't know if these are oak trees or what. But they look old. And these are the kind of trees I like. I'm not really a fan of pine trees. I know some people like the smell of pine, but. These are the trees, man. These take a long time to grow. Those pine trees grow really quick. That's why they use them in commercial forests. It's getting a bit more windy now. Uh, lovely. I still can see the uh, Seven Bridge in the distance over there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the one I walked over when I walked on a Groves to Land's End. I walked over one of the Seven Bridges. A little sobbery end. Old Sudbury. where I'm heading so guys I didn't go up the uh, fort in between Little Sobbery and Old Sobbery I've been up there before on the Cotswold Way I might have some pictures if I do I'll put them up on the screen or I already have done um, yeah if I, if, I, if I got here late it would have probably been a good place to stick the tent up but um, yeah, it's too early. It's only like 3.20 and it, 
sun doesn't set to about 9.20 at the moment. So here's some photos from back in 2012 when I did the cot sword way of the dove cot and the fort at the top of the hill. And here's some photos from the view from the uh, fort at the top of the hill. So just over there is uh, Old Sudbury. And there's supposed to be a pub. I can't remember if there's a shop there. I don't think there is. But I've got enough water, a little bit of food. Um, I expect to be by Bath tomorrow still. <coughs> Church at Old Sudbury. I remember this, it's on the hill. It's got a fantastic view. It's nice up here. But I'm gonna have to make a move. There's my bag over there on the bench. This is the actual Cotswold Round going through here and Cotswold Way as well. And there is uh, some kind of ancient cross by the uh, dog in. That's the smallest M4 motorway sign I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look at this oldest tree. So I'm going through this estate. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I'll put it, uh, the name up on the screen. But they got a hell of a garden. Check that out. Definitely into the landscaping here. It's quite nice actually. It's probably preserved all the old trees. There's your, there's your answer, folks. It's the Doddington Park Estate. All right, guys. Cheers. Sorry for the disturbing you. <laughs> They're not bothered. They're lucky, I think, to be. Um, Staying in a place like this is beautiful. So, so folks, I've only got 17 miles to bar. The Cotswold Way part of the Cotswold Run, which I'm doing now, um, it's a lot more busy than when I last did it. I think there's a few reasons for that. The last time I did it, I did it out of season. Normally I don't hike this time of year. I don't like it because it's too hot, too many flies, um, overgrown plants like this. Um, usually a lot worse on 
um, trails that are not uh, national trails. This is a national trail, so usually they're quite a good standard. They keep into a good standard. But um, yeah, it's definitely been more busy this time, but it's probably because of what's just happened as well. There's a few more people about. Um, but it's been good, I've been talking to a lot of people on the way, but it's a bit awkward when you do wild camping. And like um, last night, I had people walking past the uh, tarp up until like about 10 o'clock, no, not 10 o'clock at night, probably like about 8.30 towards 9ish. And uh, it was very busy. So I was, I was uh, had my tarp up by the Tinsdale Monument. I won't tell you exactly where, but um, there was a lot of people about. Now, as um, I'm not being able to charge my batteries, not once have I charged my batteries in the way. I bought uh, one, two, three, four power packs, and three of those are big power packs. And I'm, uh, I've got two power packs left with power in. Um, but all, all my drain batteries are almost completely flat out. Um, I've got an option when I get to bar fiver to charge the batteries at the train station, if that's possible. I'm not going to be able to use the library because libraries are not allowing that at the moment. And the same for churches. Uh, it's only for private prayer, I think, in the churches at the moment. Uh, so I can't really go in and charge my stuff in the church. Uh, so train station is the only option. Of all, I stay the night in a travel lodge or a premier inn or somewhere else cheap and charge my stuff up that way. Or I go home for a bit because the train fare back home is quite cheap and I can charge all my gear up, refresh, uh, get the return ticket and come back again and start it off. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm not going to have any battery power. And plus the fact... Yeah, it'd be nice to refresh. I'm um, not stayed at any campsites on the way and stuff, so so either probably stay at a Premier Inn, charge at the train station, or go go back home for a couple of days, then uh, come back and start again. Sad Martin War Memorial. The Majors Retreat, folks. This is in Tad Martin, Tad Morton, sorry. Yeah, pause that if you want to read it. The village pond. Free range, huh? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Just crossing the M5, I think. Vehicle Inspector Checkpoint. This went past some woodlands but it had loads of rubbish in and cigarette ends and a pop-up old pop-up scent kind of put me off stop stopping in there and it's not too far away from the motorway so yeah I'm gonna carry on but I've got a bad feeling it might be quite hard to find somewhere um, it's still only 6 32 it's about 9 30 around 9 20 is uh, sunset at the moment some pylon pylons to go under. These ones are not hissing. I don't want previous ones before on the air trail. I actually like the look of <laughs> pylons. I, th I don't know, something about them. Obviously, probably not too healthy to hang around underneath them with all that electricity going through. Well, guys, I just stopped for a coffee break. It is 7.16, so what's that, I've got around two hours before sunset. It's absolutely freezing, you wouldn't think it's like summer, would you? Um, it's supposed to be 12 Celsius tonight, 
So I am hoping to find somewhere in the trees to camp with the tarp. And I'll probably use the bivy bag tonight as well to give it extra warmth to the sleeping bag. Well, so far today I've done um, 40 kilometers. So it's probably gonna be about 43 kilometers by the time I um, find somewhere to put the tarp up. Looks like I have uh, some followers, ladies and gentlemen. They're like the traditional type, aren't they? Eee! Calm down, guys. They're being all right, actually. Just got to keep an eye on them when you're... Uh... If they're going to run up behind you. No, I seem okay at the moment. Guys, just relax. They're cool. They're just curious. Sometimes they can get a bit over and start running towards you. That's when you have to, uh, I find, shout back off and um, they will back off. I'm not going to do it now because they're, they're, just, they're just following me. They're not running towards me. They're your, uh, your traditional style cows, aren't they, really? You don't see very many of those very often now. Just coming up to the gate, I don't want to be crushed at the gate. <laughs> oh, that'd be alright. Yeah, they're just curious. Well guys, I can't hang around, I've got to go and find somewhere to put my tarp up. So it's been nice meeting you and I hope you enjoy this field. It looks like it's got pl plenty of food. So, see you later. This is pop possibly another estate means it could be hard to find a camping spot they usually fence off the, the forests which for us wild campers is a bit of a pain in the ass check that out it must be a ma manor Durham Park National Trust it's closed I think in the moment so up here is Durham Park apparently Some information about this little lodge here. Wow, that's probably the best bench along the path I've seen the whole way. Didn't didn't realise there was a, a house down here as well. There is a woods coming up, but I bet you it's fenced off just so you can walk on the path. I bet you. Well, I've just met a, a guy just walking down here. Seems to be local, he reckons. He seemed to point out that the woods will be okay to camp at. So, hopefully, almost there now. Another pond down there, or, or mini lake, or whatever you want to call it. And this is the bit that goes into the woods. Probably could camp in here, it's overgrown, they can't have any animals in there at the moment. So, uh, there's my watch reading for you 41.63 kilometers. So, I did about 43 kilometers today, and I've just got the tarp up, I'm absolutely knackered. I've done, been covering large distances almost every day. Um, this is my tarp set up. I've got my cool bag there, my food. I got. Um, I did actually have <laughs> six liters of fluid. Can you believe that? But um, not wanting to use a water filter on this hike because there's a lot of farmland about. Um, I've got um, my quantum. 70 plus 10 bag there without the day pack so it's this is lighter than what i normally carry on a hike um i didn't bring my stove to save weight i'm just buying food at the shops on the way i've now got enough to last me and drink to last me until bath easy um because i've only just got over suffering from diarrhea i didn't want to risk not having too much fluids just in case you know it starts playing up again 
because obviously you can you can die from uh, dehydration from having diarrhea um so i don't really want to call emergency services saying i'm shitting myself to death so that's why i'm carrying so much water but yeah i can report that my diarrhea problem is okay now. i really appreciate you all that have subscribed to my channel for the amount of effort i put into the videos i've not really got that many subscribers so i'd really appreciate it if you haven't please do subscribe